When judging multiple conditions, lengthy if function will make it difficult for others to understand the logic when editing. Here, ifs functions can be put to good use. The grammatical structure of ifs function is equal ifs logical test 1 value if true 1 logical test 2 value if true 2 making nesting layer by layer unnecessary thus simplifying the formula taking this form as an example we would like to grade students scores according to the four conditions of test scores on the right first select cell c2 click insert function under the formulas tab and find the ifs function in the dialog box. Every two parameters of the ifs function are set up as a group, and the former logical test1 is the test condition. Here we enter b2 less than 70. The latter value if true 1 means the result to be returned if logical test1 evaluates to true. Here we enter d. When the test result is false, the ifs function will continue to judge the following test condition. We enter b2 less than 80 in logical test 2 and enter c in value if true 2. Then we enter b2 less than 90 in logical test 3 and enter b in value if true 3. Finally, enter b2 less than equal to 100 in logical test 4, and enter A in value if true 4, then click OK to complete the operation. The above formula first judges whether B2 less than 70 is true, and if so, return to D. If B2 less than 70 is not true, continue to judge whether B2 less than 80 is true, and if so, return to C. If B2 less than 80 is not true, Continue to judge whether B2 less than 90 is true, and if so, return to B. If B2 less than 90 is not true, finally judge whether B2 less than equal to 100 is true. If so, return to A. We can also specify true in the last set of parameter test conditions to represent the situation that all the previous test conditions are not true. This is the basic use of ifs function. Did you get it?